This is it, the trifecta of post mousetrap games. Two of these were made by Ideal, the company which made Mousetrap. This one, Fishbait and Crazy Fox, were both uh, designed by the same guy. I think his name was Marvin Glass. And uh, he um, came up with these two games, which I found out about on the Rube Goldberg site. And then Disney made one called Ratatouille. Now this one... I paid $75 for, which might seem to be an extraordinary amount of money for a game that I will probably play just a few times, but I really just wanted to have all of the versions of these games, or a version of each of these games so that we could play with here um, at the sea base. Okay, so I'm going to set them up and we're going to watch the mechanism roll, hopefully successfully. Okay, this is the Ratatouille board. And these little um, gadgets in the board will help to prevent, I guess, the wear and tear that happens when the pieces go in and out. And so I'm going to look it up and set it up. So in, in the setup, there are some parts that are, have to be pre-set, which is here. Spatula blade is lowered and locked into the base of the fork. This is the fork break here. Okay. Um, and we'll look at the movements after. Ball bearing in the top of the trough. The other is a spare. The cleaver is raised. The salt shaker is up. Yeah. Bread loaf halves are snapped down. Tea cups are in stacked position. The salt shaker is upright. Show me those hands. There you go. <laughs> E.T.'s hands. <laughs> uh, towel on spoon launcher is spread over shadow on game board with paw prints up. Okay. I wonder, does it really make that much of a difference? Okay. Now, we should let it go. So wait, how do we let it go? Hang on. So just as in Mousetrap, there is a launching loop, which you, I think you circle around until you get the exact count and something happens. One of the things that you do is you um, put the ingredients into the spoon launcher, okay? And then you press the button on the side of the cleaver handle, which will immediately activate the crazy kitchen utensil machine and launch your ingredient into the bowl of soup. Okay, so the objective is get the ingredients into the bowl of soup. Okay. And you go around the board collecting ingredients and then coming back into the launching room. All right. When you land on the spoon space, start the crazy kitchen utensil machine by pushing the button on the side of the cleaver holder. This will ensure the start of the chain reaction. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it didn't <Hey>. land. <laughs> I think you have so one is we have green peppers. So Caprice, you want to um, press the button on the side of the cleaver? Side? Is it? Oh, wait. On the side of the cleaver handle. Down below? Is that button down there? Oh! Okay. Wait, wait. That's funny. <laughs> there it goes. Yay! <laughs> okay, we gotta figure out why this one didn't work. Okay. Resetting. So it's this is the sticky one. Move this back into place. Whoop! This goes back down. Maybe this needs to be a little bit further over or something. Okay, that goes back in. The, the teacups come back up. The spoon comes back down. And put the next ingredient in. It's an onion. Onions. Ready for the onions. Okay. Launch. Hey! 
All right, let's see what needs to happen here. I think there, this needs to be heavier somehow. Because it goes down. It's supposed to go down. Well, look, this it's isn't not doing it. Yeah. So this is warped somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this needs to push there. Okay. Maybe even if we just hand twist it. That takes a long time. You can you can play with it. Oh yay! So it pretty much works consistently once this is fixed. Okay, so we have another ingredient. Are you doing the onion again? Wait, 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 but what happened here? So I'm just gonna hold it slightly like that. Okay. And we could probably wedge something in there so it'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oops. <laughs> Okay. We didn't reset the ball. Okay. Okay. Let's try it again. So we stuck a piece of paper in there so that it would hopefully. Wait, wait, wait. Let's make sure everything is reset. Okay. Let's put garlic now. Okay. Okay. Everything. Have we got everything? Yeah. It looks like it. Ah. So it missed it or something. I think we have to add weight to the salt shake. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> some days the soup just isn't very good. <laughs> so we added some tape here because we wanted to add some weight to the salt shaker. Now let's see if that works. Yes! Wait, 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 we're not set up! We're not set up! Hurry, 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 hurry! <laughs> it's not a hurry. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it came out, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even miss, don't I? Some days you just can't win. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the, the, the bad chef anyway. That was the villain miss. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I want to do it from that side. Yay! It's working! It's working! You did it without me? Yeah, <laughs> you disappeared. It worked! Yay! So all our hacks worked. So funny. Yay! <laughs> okay, last time. We're going to try to launch the Zirat. Okay. Woo! Woo! It's working! It's working! Almost. Just the browning effect. Uh, <laughs> well, that's good. The rat didn't make it into the ratatouille. Yes. Is it ratatouille without a rat? Yes. It's ratatouille <laughs> with a rat. Ratatouille. So let's see how these all work again. This is the reset on the bread. And then this is like that. Okay. When that happens, this goes down. So this is the reset on the salt shaker. Bam. When that goes down, it hits this lever, which we've kind of picked out a bit with that. So again, this goes down. And this, when it comes up, lets the BB down here the ball bearing goes into the strainer down the path past the knives down here and it lets the stack of cups it comes down here and how does this work oh this little lever here releases the stack of cups 
presses on the button, which releases the spoon. Why do we need this? Why do we need the, just to hold it back sufficiently? Isn't that interesting? To, to hide it. To hide it? Because you can go over there. Because mm -hmm. those are those are um, turns, uh -huh. but if you don't press it down, so you go boom, boom, boom. I see. If so you there's land a chance. on it, you I can see. do it ahead. Early. Uh, if you don't land on it, it's not early. Because I was thinking maybe it was actually to weight it down so that there it is. See, look, it can go in. It just didn't. Now if it was here, and we release this, see that? has to be good and strong. Oh well. Oh well. Rat in your ratatouille. Okay.